You can find endless intricate intellectual pursuits on the campus of SMU, especially Being surrounded by bones and fossils in natural history. In the basement home of the Schuler Museum of Paleontology. It's always just kind of fun for me. So why? Can you also find Travis Nolan here? It's a 22.5 degree design. Folding paper. A very iterative process. Because as early as the age of five. I came downstairs into the kitchen, I'm like, Mom, Dad, I got it figured out. <laughs> he loved dinosaurs, wanted to be a paleontologist, but what to do with his other passion? All that folding and folding of paper. Much what everybody thinks of when they think of origami. Oh, look, he's sitting at home making thousands of cranes. Yes, exactly. Right? They're like, yeah. wow, that's pretty lame, you know? Lame? Yeah. Oh, Not so thing. much from one piece of paper. I've got a nice little dromaeosaur design. He can make dromaeosaurs and velociraptors and triceratops. Or to convey paleontological information to the public. But before you dismiss his hobby. Pre-creasing can take hours and hours. As his own grandfather once did. You're spending so much time folding paper. Why? Like yeah, this get is a real job. Exactly. Uh -huh. Not and, exactly uh, rocket I, I, science you and his granddad might to say. To material science applications for origami. Well. Yeah. Actually, it is. The James Webb Telescope, for example, someone had to figure out how to fold it up for launch and then unfold it again. And then to be easily deployable in space. Mm -hmm. That's origami. And working with the Dallas nonprofit Paper for Water, he sold enough of his origami ornaments to help build water wells in places like Kenya. It was, it was absolutely a mind-blowing experience, yeah. So if you see a young man studiously folding a single piece of paper. If I'm gonna be stuck on a bus, for like four hours, I can bring a sheet of paper and be occupied the entire time. It might just be a college junior majoring in earth sciences, specializing in geology with minors in biology and applied physiology. And how these animals might have moved and walked and Building really a budding paleontological career, one intricate fold at a time. At SMU in Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.